Hi friends. So in this video, we will discuss about another interesting stuff. So what we have taken, we have taken uh, in this first of all, in the, uh, the name of this mapping is m underscore file underscore list name. Okay. So we have taken source. So in this uh, video, what we have taken, we have taken our source as file. So if you go to here, you will see I have taken sources file. So this file is present in one of my directory, local directory. Okay. So as in IACS, so to load any data from file system, first of all, you have to create one connection. In that connection, you have to provide the name uh, path of that directory, which I have already explained in my previous videos. So from that directly, I have selected this file file name. Okay. So so our requirement here is to load the data from file to target table along with along with the data we have to capture the name of the file also and load that name of the file into my target table okay so here what we have done in my target table this is my target table uh, if you see here i have added one more column like file underscore name so i need to capture name of the file also so how we can do it's a very simple thing in ISES. So you can just go to click on source. Okay. So we have already selected the source and everything. Okay. Now what you need to do here, you, you need to go to the option of fields. So in fields, if you see here, so by default, uh, your two uh, rows will be sh uh, shown to you, which are present in your file. After that, you need to click on this option at currently processed file name field. So what it will do, it will already put name of your file here that's all after that what you to do you need to just connect your source to your target thing in target field if you see here in target i have, I have already i have already selected my file name uh, name of my target table which is present in snowflake database and if you go to in field mapping okay so in field mapping what we can do we have already mapped we have to uh, these two columns and this currently processed file name field I have to map with my file name column that's all so now I will run my mapping let me run my mapping so these are the simple and some legit interesting questions which might come up in real time or while your development also and in interviews also they uh, your, you you might encounter questions related to these type of things so questions might be a little bit different but mostly would be related to these things only so let me go to my jobs here if you see here my jobs is running right now so in this case what it will show you it will show you the name of the file along with its complete path also okay let me get it executed It's cloud little bit taking time so parallel let me tell you once some more interesting step till the time it is running so here if you see here we have selected our source okay so in source we have selected one option as single object okay single object so we are having other options which we will discuss in, in other videos this is called file list concept we will discuss in uh, some other videos so here what we have done we have selected only single file okay suppose in case you have to load data from two to th three files suppose you have to load data select the data which is present in three files and load into single target table how you can achieve that thing so that thing we will discuss in uh, future video but i just wanted to give you some heads up okay till the time my jobs are running yeah my job has been com completed you will go and we will uh, see and click here you will see uh, from source it is capturing two rows and uh, in target it has loaded two rows let me run this thing see here so these things my uh, has been my uh, name of my uh, file name is also coming here along with its path so one question might come into your mind okay i don't want to capture its path how uh, i just want to capture file name only how, how what we can do so this is simple stuff you can practice from your own also what you can you have to do you have to just add one expression transformation from 
between the source and target in that expression trans transformation whatever uh, field uh, currently process file name is coming from there you can use some variable and use some instr and substr function with the help of that you can just capture only file name but here if you see here its path name is also coming so no need to worry these things you, uh, you can just uh, google it or you can uh, try to practice from your own also so that's all from my end thank you